All right, welcome back to the channel, man. Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrencies for beginners. And today, we're going to talk about, you know, a new project that I found. It's on the Harmony Ones Network. Um, it's called Open Swap. And as you know, as you can tell by the name, it is a new swap on Harmony Ones Network. And, you know, I invested a little bit in this, but I'm not endorsing it in any type of way. I just wanted to show, you know, new projects on Harmony One's uh, blockchain and just showing what, you know, all of these developers have uh, and what they uh, have planned. I'm not going to really uh, do a really like just an in-depth about the project. I really just want to kind of view the swap, um, see the different types of cryptos they have on there, uh, their exchange, uh, the liquidity, and also the forms they have. So I'm just going to go a little basic overview, nothing major. And like I said, this is not financial advice. I'm not in any way endorsing them or they have not, you know, asked me to do anything like that. I'm just going over new projects that I see on a blockchain um, that might have potential in the future. So you know, do your due diligence, do your own research, but I'm just going to go over the swap and just see what they have on there. So we're currently on OpenSwap and we're currently on the exchange part of it. So right now it's, I like this setup. I like that it's new. Um, usually people try to, you know, copy, uh, you know, like SushiSwap, Uniswap, but I like this, a new layout It's different from the uh, swaps and it kind of gives you a new feel overall. So I'm liking already the, you know, the, the simple layout that it has. And I want to see, let's just see, you know, what they have on there. So we can see right now you have the Harmony uh, native tokens and you got one. Then you got, of course, OpenSwap. Then you got Viper, Vinci, Moochie, Llama, XYA, C, E. I don't know those three. Now I don't know C um, or the ARC. A-R-A-N-K or E-U-S-K. So I, those projects I got to check out. Um, but I know, you know, of course, one, OpenSwap, Viper, Vinci, and Moochie. So I know those. And then, of course, we have the ETH bridge tokens as well, where you got E-ETH, you know, B-U-S-D. And it's pretty much when they put the E in front of it, it's just the way of showing that it's, uh, I guess, an ETH bridge token. So it's a lot of a lot of different tokens they have on the open swap. I like that they have, you know, USDT. Uh, they got the die, E Swag, E Uni. You know, they got. They even got Crow on here. They got the uh, KuCoin token, um, eBet. So they got a lot of different, you know, cryptocurrencies on here that you can bridge over, you know, exchange. And then you know we go down to Binance, and Binance also has, you know, not a biggest variety as ease but they do have you know a, a good amount of binance tokens as well so i think that's cool starting off like i think this is a fairly new project i'm not sure how long it's uh been open but fun fact i actually joined the liquidity pool like when it first opened i was that's when i was just being pretty much a digging and i was just investing in everything bro like anything that was on harmony ones network i was just investing in but i kind of changed my game plan but i still want to talk about the projects um that i see that have you know opportunity on the harmony ones blockchain so all right that's the exchange right there then you want to go to liquidity and you know that's pretty much the liquidity page is pretty much i guess the same as the exchange um so that's probably one thing i'm i mean they you didn't i mean i guess you didn't necessarily have to you know put it like that but i mean hey it is what it is so you know, this is how you, I guess the liquidity, okay, let me see. I guess the liquidity is different from the exchange. So with the, with the swap, we click on swap and this is the exchange portion and I don't have anything in my wallet. So I just want to really see what it looked like. Uh, so it tells you pretty much, boom, um, my balance. I don't have anything on there. And it tells you the median rate, current rate, next rate and price impact. So um, I don't have anything in my wallet, so I really can't necessarily show you the exchange, but that is how it looks. You know, that is how it looks. Um, this is the liquidity portion, and that is how you uh, would go about adding liquidity if you wanted to make a liquidity pool. 
Um, I didn't make any liquidity pools, but I did. Like I said, I did farm. Um, I, I, I had some open swap, just some like really not even a lot, like a hundred uh, coins really. So I just said, you know, bump it. I'm going to just farm it. So this is the farm page and we can see currently it is 16 farm pools with $447,000 in there. And then the average APR of 80%. So um, my personal total stake value is two dollars, you know, and I was like I said, I'm not heavily invested in this project. I just had like extra coins. And I really just like I said, I was just jumping into anything. I was just trying to just buy anything. And I end up changing it back to one just because that's more so of my strategy right now. But I do invest in other projects. And, you know, this is an upcoming project. And it's half a million dollars locked up in total value right now. So I think it has a chance to, you know, continue to grow. But only time will tell, especially with different swaps. And we don't know how, you know, it's going to end up. But it is looking good. It does give us a different feel overall for, you know, a, a swap. Like, it's not the usual swap you see. So there's something that uh, you could be excited about, you know, and you can, you know, take for yourself and just see how you want to go about it. But anyway, like I said, I did some, I added some liquidity to the open swap pool. And right now it's giving around 5%. And I earned like 0.13% uh, of it. Uh, I only got 131 token stake. And you can see it's only, like I said, it's only worth $2. So, I mean, what it is, what it is. I'm not like tripping. I'm just, you know, it, it. I don't, I didn't really go too deep into this particular one. So, but you can see all of the other liquidity pools they have as well. So you got the open swap in the one, which is at, you know, 69,000. Then you have open swap in BUSD, 31,000. And then it's giving you some good returns as well. So that open swap in one is the APR of 34%. And that open swap in BUSD is an APR of 76%. I know a lot of people like to see those crazy APRs, but that's really a good thing because it's, it's showing you that this project is serious and it's not trying to give you, you know, uh, unbelievable returns because when you get those type of returns or those type of APRs, a lot of people just want to put a lot of money in when they first get you know first get started and then they just take it out as soon as the return drops they just take their original investment out and it's bad for the project and it doesn't help with you know liquidity on that pacific swap so i think that's good they have realistic aprs right now of course when more liquidity is added to the pools it's going to go down that's just how it works but you know right now it's still giving you some good returns on these you know different liquidity pools like i said i'm not investing in anything other than the open swap of liquidity um but those would be some good ones so you know kind of look into it just decide for yourself if you you know would like something like that so i want to click on the more so we can see you know the pairs um that's coming soon so you know the whips like i said this is a new project so they're still building on it so you can see the token. So I, it looks like all of this is pretty much coming soon. Um, so that's going to be exciting to see. And then if you hover over this, it shows you like the circulate market cap, 290,000. Then the total tokens burned is at, you know, about 1 million. Then we see the total supply is 15 million. And then the total lock is 14 million. And then the total overall is 30 million. So then the max supply is infinite. So, I mean, I don't know necessarily about the max supply being infinite, um, but like I said, I'm, I'm new to crypto. So I'm just going over um, the exchange that I, the things that I'm seeing. And I feel like um, my perfect, where I fit into the crypto space is just trying to see how, how companies or how people you know, these crypto platforms could really be introduced into mass adoption, make it easier for someone like me. Like, I'm just a regular guy. I don't know about coding. I don't know about anything. I'm just a guy who's interested in crypto and who's willing to learn more. But there's a lot of people who don't want to learn more and who just want to get into the crypto space. And I feel like whatever crypto person or crypto company or coder or whoever the case may be, whoever finds out how to do that, 
will be a, a great winner in the crypto space. So that's just my little two cents, man. I just wanted to give you an overall view of what you know, OpenSwap is doing just a brief overview of the platform. And this, I want to say this was a like a review of it because I want, it's still early. So I wouldn't necessarily just give it a rating right now. I like that it's new. I like that, you know, they have good forms on there, realistic forms. Um, but it, you know, it is fairly new and it is a swap. So it's a lot of swaps that's dropping right now. So it's a lot of competition in the swap you know, DeFi sector, especially in Harmony's uh, blockchain. But competition is always good. It's not necessarily competition, but other projects, you know, doing the same thing. But I feel like it can be a way where everybody, you know, works together and just find, you know, different avenues or, you know, different ways to go about building the project and building the cryptocurrency. So, like I said, that's my video for today. I'm Crypto Tro. I'm out of here.